Hi there, counters allow a number of occurrences of input signals to be counted. It might be counting the number of revolutions of a shaft, or perhaps the number of people passing through a door. Depending on the counter application, we have two types of counters. Up counter and down counter. Usually, the reset command is used with counters. Finally, we'll do a simple project in this video. My name is Syed Reza, and before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and the greatest content I will be posting through the channel. Let's start with the up counter. Counters are programmed almost exactly like timers discussed in the previous video. The counter is numbered like the timer, except it begins with a C instead of T. C identifies the instruction as a counter file. The next number, 5, is the default file number. Any unused file number from 10 to 255 can be assigned. A colon separates the file number, from the counter number which is number 3. We can have up to 256 counters in each file number. Each counter element is consists of three words. According to the program, the counting up bit, CU, will be on, if the first input is activated. The next bit, CD, is used for down counters. The done bit, DN, is set to 1 and stays on when the accumulated value is equal or greater than the preset value. Well, what is this bit, overflow bit, OV? Pay attention, 327067 is the maximum number which can be stored with 16 bits. So, any time the accumulated count exceeds the upper limit of plus 327067, then OV bit sets to 1. The underflow bit, UN, is used for down counters. Other bits in word 0, are reserved. The next word is used to store the preset value. And the last word is used to store accumulated value. With the reset instruction, the accumulated value of each counter can be reset to zero. Alright, let's explain, how this counter work based on this diagram. According to the program, Activating the first input causes a positive edge signal to the counter, which causes the counter up bit to be on. This positive edge signal increases the accumulated value, 1 unit. Similarly, with the next positive edge signals, the accumulated value will be increased until reached to the preset value, which here is 4. At this time, when the accumulated value is equal or greater than the preset value, the done bit, will be on. According to the second line, by activating this input, the counter will be reset and the accumulated value will be zero again. Note that the overflow bit will be on if the accumulated value exceeds 32767. Now, we replace the up counter with a down counter, to investigate CD, DN, and UN status bits, and take a look at its counting chart. As you see the accumulated value is 6 which is greater than the preset value. So, the done bit is activated at the beginning. With each positive edge signal, the counting down bit of the inserted down counter is activated, and the accumulated value decreased one unit. Similarly, with the next positive edge signals, the accumulated value will be decreased. When the value is lower than the preset value, the done bit will be turned off.
with the reset instruction, we can reset the accumulated value to zero. Pay attention, at this time, the down counter is activated to decrease its accumulated value. Also in the next line, the reset instruction resets the down counter to zero. So according to the last decision, PLC reset the accumulated value to zero. Another point is, the underflow bit will be 1, any time the accumulated value exceeds the lower limit, which is minus 32.76.8. Alright, let's insert and test the down counter. Here are up counter, down counter and reset instructions. Here, we must assign a counter address. Double click on counter file. Here, we can see status bits, preset, and accumulated value. If we need two or more counter, we can click here, and change this number. Pay attention, in each counter file, we can have up to 256 counter. Let's use the fourth counter address. The preset value can be a negative number such as minus 5. Well, let's use an input contact to activate the inserted counter. In the second line, I want to use the counter done bit to turn on off an output. Now, let's compile, save, and test the down counter with Arslogix Emulate 500. Here, I use number 3, for the station number. As you see, the Arslink software detects my virtual station. So, let's download the program. Now. Let me open the Arslogix Emulate 500 and change my virtual PLC to run mode. The accumulated value is greater than the preset value. So the done bit is activated and my output is turned on. Let's decrease the accumulated value by creating positive edge signal. As you see, when the accumulated value is less than the preset value, the done bit is turned off, and the output will be off.
Now, let me change the accumulated value, to show over and under flow states. Also, let's open the counter files to see status bits. Now, let's activate the inserted down counter. As we mentioned before, any time, the accumulated value exceeds the lower limit which is minus 32768. The underflow bit is set to 1, and the next value of the accumulated word will be 32767. Why? See these two counters. The up and down counters are using the same counter address. C5 colon 3. As you now. The accumulated word has 16 bits, its value can be changed within this range. Now its value is 4. First let's use the up counter to increase the accumulated value, if its value exceeds 32767, the overflow bit is set to 1, and the next value of the accumulated word will be minus 32768. Similarly, if we use the down counter to decrease the accumulated value, when its value exceeds the lower limit, minus 32768, the underflow bit is set to 1, and the next value of the accumulated word will be 32767. Alright, let's do a simple project. Consider this parking lot which has two indicators. We're going to develop a program, that shows the parking lot is full or not with two green and red lights. There is an entry sensor which is connected with an up counter, this sensor will make a count when a car enters. Also, an exit sensor is connected with a down counter, which will reduce the accumulator value of the counter when a car exits. Finally, consider an input to reset the program. Pause the video and try to do this simple project. Then you might want to compare your program with mine. In my program, the entry sensor is connected to an up counter which increase the accumulated value. With this address, C5 colon 3. In the second line, the exit sensor decrease the accumulated value. Pay attention. The down counter is using the previous counter address. C5 colon 3. The third and fourth lines turn on two green and red lights, based on the done bit of the used counter, C5 colon 3. When the accumulated value is less than the preset value, the green light will be on. I assume that the parking lot has a capacity of 10 cars. When the accumulated value reaches 10, the red light will be on and the green light will be off. Finally, according to the last line, the operator can reset the accumulated value to zero. Let me test this program with my CPU. First, I have made a connection with my CPU in Arslink software. Now, let's download and test the program. My CPU is in program mode, let me change it to run mode. The accumulated value of the inserted counter is 8. Let me reset that to 0. Now, let's activate the entry sensor, which is connected to the up counter. As you see, the accumulated value is increased by each activation of the entry sensor. Similarly, the accumulated value is decreased by each activation of the exit sensor. Base the program, 
the green light is on until the accumulated value, which shows the current cars in the parking lot, is less than 10, which is the parking lot capacity. After that, the red light is on, until a car will exit from the parking lot. I hope you have learned how counters work. In the next video, we'll see what are comparison instructions and also improve the parking lot program. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.